Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap we continue onwards after a massive amount of Kinstone Fusion last episode on a quest to get ourselves the Pegasus Boots. We're heading towards the Minish Woods but there's still more new areas to explore along the way. So let's get looking around and did we drain this at an earlier point? I think we did. So with that said, more secrets to start off straight away. A massive chest as well. You got a big wallet, now you can carry more rupees! Well, that's an absolutely brilliant start. Thank you, Kinstone Fusions. Okay, so we've got ourselves a ridiculously big wallet. How tranquil! Those cows look so delicious, what? He's definitely a fan of beef, I'm guessing. Out of anything, and another sparkly thing over here, interesting. And we've got ourselves somewhere we can enter. We can push this, that's for sure. Maybe I should face the right way first. So how many rupees can I hold now, I wonder? Well, with that said, we got ourselves 50 rupees here. You must be very happy indeed. I'm always wondering if there's bomber walls or something around, but ending up here, what else can we find? Nothing at all. Just incredibly suspicious tree trunk. Hmm, what might that be for? Well, I can jump back down over there. But that tree trunk is extremely suspicious. Right, we'll have to remember that, if I can. But we've also got a path over here which seems to be for the Minish. Some place to fly. We've got ourselves over past the water over here. And Lake Hylia is ours free to explore. Well, I'm not so sure if we should be going this way right now. Hmm. Well, the power of exploration is strong in this one. I do wonder if we can find anything really cool. Another one more heart piece and we've got ourselves another full heart container after all. Mysterious shells aren't bad. What's in here? A little dog is bouncing around. Well, we can not speak to you in big form, but we can. Ah, if I can get on top. In our minish form, our small form. Hello! My master Stockwell has been coming home far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. Well, you want a kinstone fuse, that's for sure. Ruff, ruff, ruff. You want to fuse kinstones, ruff, ruff. It seems we never stop, do we? Well, we have one for you. The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. With Borken the dog. Is it Borken the broken dog? But I don't know. We found ourselves. Another treasure chest somewhere, someplace, somehow, and Lake Hylia, of course. Ruff! A perfect fit, Arf! Well, at least this will be there for when we actually get properly exploring this area. But I feel like we should do what's really laid out before us, first and foremost. That's by the look of it. Well, that makes things even more suspicious, but we cannot traverse the water. That tree stump is indeed something. I am right to call it suspicious if we find another tree stump straight after. But with that done, we continue onwards to search. Can we head up this way as well? Well, it seems we can check out even more locations if we really want. So with that said, this looks like a place for a treasure chest to meet. And we can spring ourselves upwards. Or even better, wait a second. We can make ourselves a shortcut. Well, that's said and done, another kinstone piece, brilliant! I don't even need the white pickle like this, right? Maybe I should go buy it quickly, actually, thinking about it. Right, a place for a minish to go over. Apart from that, the ability to fly here is incredibly interesting. So we bring ourselves up on top here. I was expecting to find some kind of hidden thing underneath all that grass, but not a single thing be found. At the moment, anyway, we can make ourselves fly again. Where would we need to fly from here? Well, if I could, I'd go that way, but I guess I could fly over the water? Just about. Well, there was places to explore that way. We did open up the shortcuts, so that's not too bad for us. We've opened up this route as well, to Lake Hylia. I can tell you we don't want to go to Lake Hylia, but welcome to Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. It seems we're going everywhere but where we're supposed to be going. 
Massive exploration, though, brings us into the Minish Woods, but from a different entrance. So we are going the right way. Phew, guys, don't worry, I'm not just going everywhere and anywhere. And instantly, find myself... A blue kinstone piece. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. I'm sure they are. Well, even better... Is a piece of heart. You completed a new heart container. Your life energy has been replenished and increased. Well, there you go. There you have it. My exploration proved overpowering. We got ourselves another full heart container. Brilliant. Right, so where to now? Apart from the fact we can go everywhere, Syrup the Witch's Hut or Mayor Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. Well, I think I know which one I'm going to because I can't enter the other place. I guess I can store about 500 rupees now, would you say? That's quite a lot, all the same. Cut all the grass, because why not? Mainly we'll cut all the grass because, well, I need as many green kinstone pieces as humanly possible. With bombs dropping out there, that was suspicious. Or at least it's suspicious to me anyway. Right then, stir up the witch's hut. It is indeed, let's enter. Hello, madame. Ah, oh, welcome. Care for some of Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy. Please look around. Oh, I think we want this. Ah, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article. One whiff and you're wide awake. That is why it's called a wake-up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 16 rupees? I would indeed. You got a wake-up mushroom. Its nasty stench chases away the sleepies. So to be honest, if I went into the miniature was proper, I would never have found that. You've got an eye for fine goods? That, my dear, is my highly regarded homemade blue potion. Well, I, I didn't get the blue potion. I got the mushroom, but okay, you can tell me about that, that's fine. I'm not gonna say anything, you're a witch, you might turn me into something. It'd be horrible if you did. Kinstone pieces, please, not rupees. We've got ourselves tons of rupees again now. That much of an issue. Maybe I should just eat tons of bread. Eat tons of bread to get kinstone pieces that way, eh? Kinstone pieces? Well, rupees galore, that's for sure. Alright, so we can't head in there yet. We've not figured out a way to open those places. Apart from that, I bet there is somewhere we need to bomb somewhere around here. Hmm. All those bombs coming out were a bit suspicious to me, but... To be honest... There seems to be no super suspicious walls. And no kinstone pieces dropping either. So where do we bring ourselves now? The bottom part of Lon Lon Ranch, of course, where we can just push this along. Right. Let's go up and have a look around, because there's something flying here. And I say if I'm flying, I have to go this way. Can I just fly over the fence? No, I can't fly over the fence. Well, that's a big shame. Where am I supposed to go with the flying then? Over to that bit? That seems a bit easier said than done to fly to that point there. Hmm. Yet again, another super exploration episode. Because I can. And because I will. Right, it doesn't seem like we can make it that far. There's definitely something nice behind it. Oh, wait a second, can I flip myself over the rock? Well, that would have been cool if I could have, but no. Hmm, there must be another way over there. A way to go faster, a way to fly better? I don't know. It seems to me that we'd have to fly to do it. How can I make myself fly faster? Or if I started at a better starting angle, it might work, but... The fact that I have to fly so far this way, just to get over, and then I can't really make it. So that's questions, questions. We've got ourselves the Wake Up Mushroom, that's for sure, but... I want to check out Minish Woods for any treasures or any goodies we can pick up, because of course... We found ourselves tons of other stuff. And now it just comes to the fact of just, you know, picking it all up. We've kinstone fused to find it all. What's going on here then? Hello. Don't hoe me or stick me. I love working in my garden. It makes me feel so close to nature. And sometimes, just sometimes, I dig up a kinstone from the ground. Well, that'd be nice. Dig me up one, please. What's up there, bud? You're saying you want to match kinstone pieces? I do. And I was hoping you'd do some blue. Two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. 
So much exploration. Oh! What's happened to Goron, friend? I feel so much stronger now. Here we go! Well, he busted through there. It looks like it's finally open. Come on, let's go on in. Well, you're going to have to help me first, because I can't get in there. Well, we open up a secret there. It's just how to get to it. Well, look at that. A perfect fit. Well, it's more what it did rather than anything else, sir. And there's our golden snake enemy. Oh, I think I want to be on the same side as it before I engage in battle. Don't you? Rock, rock, rock and roll! Indeed. Well, Kinstone Fuse again. We can do... A green one, which we actually have. The two Kinstone pieces fit perfectly. I want something good to happen. That's why I did the fusion, don't you know? And there's somewhere that we know. A treasure chest appearing on the mountainside. Man, it's going to all make us revisit loads of places, isn't it? It's like a chip off the old rock. Oh, rock and roll. I'm sure. But we can't get ourselves out there. That snake's going mental. To be honest, there's enough reasons to re-explore every area several times with those doors as well. So with that said and done, what's up here? Alright. We bring ourselves into another part of the Minish Woods. I wonder where on earth is this? Well, we bring ourselves to a fairy fountain. Exploration, hey? Welcome to the Adventurous Spring. I need many rupees right now. Please, throw all of yours into the spring. Oh, okay, I guess I can get more. There's enough treasure chests around. I'll probably pick up some more rupees. I've not got anything I need to spend it on right now, apart from bread. Apart from bread? Really? You know that. If you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left, right? Well, I've been there a couple of times. I might just pick up 200 rupees again. It'll be fine. Will you really throw them all in? Yes, yeah, sure, whatever. You are most kind. I do not really need your rupees. Well, that's why you ask her then. But I must reward such a kind adventurer with some of my power. You got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. We're just getting tons of wallets. May you fare well in your quest. And you even gave my rupees back? Is that like the biggest wallet I can get now? Already got? I just don't know. At the moment, I'm just getting tons of goodies. All the wallets. All the wallets. All the wallets shall be mine. Let's fight our... Oh, wait, if I defeat you, I only get to fight one of you. I get more goodies from the others if I fight all of them. Right, so, we have ourselves a golden snake. Let's go mental. Only hits for a half heart. But doesn't seem to die. Ow! How to kill you? Well, a final spin slashy thing gets me a gigantic blue rupee. So 100 rupee came from Golden Snake Monster. And that's what I'm talking about with more of them. We get ourselves tons of items if we are lucky enough. Right, so. Over here is the South Hyrule Field. We'll head through there next. But first of all, let's finally check out the Minish Woods a little bit more. Though, which way am I going? Too many places to explore. Where have I been before and where have I not? That's one of the questions I've got going. We definitely came through this way, because we've already broken some walls. This must be back to the forest area? Oh, that's just back to the village. The Minish Village. So I guess we can pass through there before going anywhere else. Ow, sir. Stop attacking! I've got myself tons of rupees. Come back here! Enemy! I want more kinstone pieces, but... Man! Crazy stuff! All the wallets! All the goodies just from a little bit of exploration! And there's another kinstone piece! Brilliant! Alright then, let's head on through. And see where we're going next, eh? Well, I haven't been through there yet. That's for sure, so we need to get ourselves small at some point here. Alright, we got a fast travel point. 
I'm pretty sure it is. Let's shrink ourselves down. And check back out in the mini village, eh? Hello, bomb guy. Anything going on? No kinstone fusions? I'm sorry, but I gave you all of my bombs last time. No problem, sir. It's not a problem. I just want to know if you wanted to fuse kinstones is all. Because we enter the Minish Village again. Hopefully there'll be some kinstone fusions here. Not you, sir. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. I'm sure. But I want more kinstone fusions, don't you know? Alright. There must be more kinstones to be fused here. But no, it doesn't seem to be. Maybe we should head out the start and go for the Minish Woods proper, eh? Seems like a plan to me. None of you would like to f fuse any kinstones, do you, Minish? You should dislike it. What about you up here? Out of the way like that. Oh, you do, that's for sure. You want to fuse kinstones? Let's give it a try. Alright, so we got ourselves a green, which we do not have. Sorry about that. I came all this way to find you. Well, what we're really here is for more treasures, more secrets. I bet you guys will agree that today's been lucrative. In all the searching. Mainly in form of money. Or wallets that will never have to worry about it, that's for sure. Right, let's head through this trail. I don't think we got any treasure chests appearing here, did we? We have had treasure chests appear on trails, however. And we have had cracks appear like this. So, another treasure chest is mine? A kinstone piece of blue one. These mystic stones are said to bring happiness, I'm sure. So, another secret found? Let's keep on moving. Alright, we can't climb up that way. Oh no, we can actually, but we can't go that way because we just sink. Don't lose any HP though, so I feel perfectly fine in doing it. So, well that said, let's turn big size and keep searching. Because there's got to be more secrets that we can get to, eh? Well, green shoes are coming after me, but I'm going to ignore you. What happened there? The monster fall in has distracted me, that's for sure. Alright, we haven't opened up that one yet, wherever that is. Hmm. We definitely need to visit here again because of all these doors, but... We can't go that way. We can head round here if only there was a way. So I'm guessing if we get something to swim in this game, which by the look of it, the hints at the moment, I'd say we do, that they allow little Minish Link to travel in the smallest pools. Considering there's a Minish hole around there. Let's defeat all the enemies, and this is what I was looking for. You got 200 rupees, your face is beaming. I'm pretty sure it is. Right, and those just easily pass through to another bit. How do I get small for that area? I guess I need to come back there at another point, eh? Right, the eastern hills we do revisit. And now let's head into Seven Hyrule. And back around, we've done ourselves tons of tri- No! No! Tell me this isn't so. Well, we'll pick up this first of all for 200 mysterious shells. And unfortunately, we found Tingle at the worst possible time. Hello, sir. I did not want to see you. Ever. Ever. I'll fuse Kinstones with you first, just to see if Tingle is happy. And we even do have a Kinstone to fuse with him. Where will this fuse to? Maybe something good will happen? That's for sure. Tingle, Tingle, Cooler Limpa over there. Well, what have we done? We've opened up a door somewhere. Back in North Hyrule Field again. Man, they fit perfectly. At last, Tingle can finally turn into a fairy too, I'm sure. You know, I've given some kinstone pieces to my brothers too. If you can fuse pieces with all of us, Tingle bets something good will happen. Go for it, Mr. Fairy. Right, so your brothers are around as well, are they? Well, that'll leave us some weird stuff going on. I've explored this area already, haven't I? Is that a heart piece there, if I remember correctly? Still a super suspicious bush surrounded by twigs, but... 
We're looking good in terms of secrets done. Phew. Now where to head to next is another question for me. Alright, another sparkly tree. It seems to me that we might need to be able to do something with them. To be able to travel on further and a vine leading away from the water it makes me believe that we can swim in deep water even as Minish Link. No goodies hidden there. If I remember, there's one more place for us to visit. But we opened up. All the treasures for all the kinstones a treasure hunt mop up. Well, I'm not so sure I want to walk forward here. No rupee light lights? Well, that's fine by me. We've made ourselves an absolute ton of rupees. We've got ourselves the wake up mushrooms. We've increased our wallet in size many, many times. And so we continue on with next episode to get ourselves the Pegasus boots. That's a weird episode indeed, full of treasure hunting, full of searching. How much side questery was there for me to do just by looking around? I do not know. Tune in next time for more Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.